Hey, Mom, are you busy? I have something very important to tell you. Oh, my God. If it's for my sweet Anne, I'll make time to listen even if I'm short of time. What's wrong? Can you lend me some money? What are you going to use it for this time? I can't afford it, but if it's for your sake, right? How much do you need? Um, a little more this time. You know, don't be surprised. What? Is it such a surprising amount? I'm getting nervous. Okay, I'm ready. How much do you need? Well, I'd like $70,000 if possible. But if that's too much, please give me the close amount to that. What? That's a lot. It's not for clothes or jewelry, is it? What's the money for? Well, it's hard to say, but I still wanted to keep it a secret. That's a lot of money, so you can't just keep it a secret. Be honest with me, sweetheart. What's going on? You didn't demand for this much amount before. Actually... You were talking about moving in with us, weren't you? Oh yes, I remember I slightly mentioned that last time. But you guys have your own lives and you don't have to take it seriously. I'm not talking about moving in, don't worry. I talked to my husband and he said he knows a real estate agent who knows a great inexpensive place for us to live. I'm sorry that I can't let you live together with me and my husband, but it would be easier for you to come and go if we live nearby. How sweet of you. I'm so glad to hear that, Anne. Is there really such a good deal? It took me so long to find that property anyway, but I have no regret since I want the best for you, Mom. I'd feel safer if you live nearby. I'm so lucky to have such a lovely daughter like you, sweetheart. Oh, I'm flattered, Mom. By the way, I look forward to living near you. When is the deadline for me to prepare the money? I'm going to help you move out, so you should have it ready by then. You're even going to help me move? That's just as I expected of you, my lovely Anne. I wish your sister Samantha were as sweet and kind like you. You're a good example for her. Oh, Mom, don't expect that. Samantha is poor and she's just jealous of me. Well, of course she's jealous of you. Your husband is receiving six figures monthly salary. Samantha can't make that kind of money for the rest of her life. And you are smart to marry such a rich man. You're the champion in life. I know. I have more money than I can spend. Are you jealous? Yes, yes. I'm proud of you for marrying such a rich man and being happy. And as your parent, I couldn't be happier. Anyway, if I move to your neighborhood, do I have to say hello to your husband's parents too? I don't care either way about that. All I care about is you, Mom. By the way, what are you going to do with the house you currently live in? I wonder what I should do with this house. If I move to a new house, I won't need this house anymore, right? Oh my God, Mom, you're so mean. I think you forgot about Samantha. Oops, sorry about that. I totally forgot about your sister. I don't want her staying at my house forever. What do you think I should do? Samantha, I have something important to tell you. Now? I can't, Mom. I'm too busy with work. It's more important than your work, so I can't wait until you finish your work. What? Can we have the conversation after I arrive at home? I wish I could wait for you, but I don't want to waste my time. Yeah, I can't wait until you come home. Jeez. Okay, I'll call you during lunch break then, so wait for me. Sorry to keep you waiting, 
So, what's up? Is everything all right? Oh, you finally called me. You're late, Samantha. You're late for everything. By the way, can I borrow some money? Seriously, Mom? You went out of your way to contact me knowing I was at work to ask for money? I'm so dumbfounded. What now? Shopping? A trip to the spa? We can talk about those stuff after I arrive at home. It's not about leisure, my dear. This time, it's a huge thing. Really? So, how much do you need? About $36,000. Or even half of that will be fine. What are you going to spend that much money for? Why are you asking for that huge amount of money all of a sudden? It's uh, for the surgery. Yes, the cost of the surgery. Surgery? Mom, you're so proud of being a strong and healthy woman. What surgery? I'm going with you to the hospital and ask them to tell me the details. Calm down, Samantha. It's not me who's going to take the surgery. It's your sister, Anne. It's not a life-threatening surgery. Just some sort of uh, cosmetic surgery for her appearance. Huh? Cosmetic surgery? For heaven's sake, why don't you tell her to ask the money from her rich husband? He's receiving six figures monthly salary, isn't he? You don't have to ask me for the money. Anne wants to do it without telling her husband. I don't think so. The other day, she was bragging that she got Botox because she begged her husband to pay for it. Don't tell me that Anne is now obsessed with beauty-related stuff and is pouring a lot of money into it without telling her husband. No way! Anne is beautiful just the way she is. I want to give Anne something as a gift to thank her for all she's done for me. $36,000 for a token of gratitude? Are you kidding me, Mom? I'm serious! Anne and her husband are rich, right? They would laugh at me if I don't give them a present of that amount. It's been almost a year since they got married, so I want to celebrate that as well. It's not a bad idea, is it? Oh, gosh. You disturbed me at work just to ask me to send you money to make you look good? This is important, Samantha. So, are you going to lend me the money? I can't give you that much money, but sending Anne and her husband something for their anniversary is something I agreed to do. Huh? You can't afford $36,000? Of course I can't. That's a big sum of money. What am I supposed to do to get those money? Gambling in Las Vegas? This is why you are useless. Then how much can you afford? It's a gift, right? At the most, I can give you about $3,600. Isn't that an amazing amount for a gift? $3,600 is a lot of money for a person like me. That's all you can give? That doesn't add up to anything. What do you want me to do then? You want me to give you more? I've worked so hard to save that $3,600. Why can't you understand me, Mom? Considering your income, that's hard work. But it's for your little sister. Don't be reluctant to pay out. You should at least pay out your entire savings. You don't have to do that much for a gift. Why don't you and I pool our money together and come up with a present that fits? That's not a good idea. We definitely need $36,000. That's impossible. You're not a good daughter and all, and I'm very disappointed in you, Samantha. You're single, you live at home, and you don't even have any savings. I don't know if you're just stingy or poor. I feel sorry for you to receive such a low monthly salary. Don't be rude. I'm not a millionaire, but I'm just a steady saver. Yeah, whatever. How much can you afford then? For your information, $3,600 isn't enough. Oh, really? I tried my best, but I changed my mind. What do you mean? I won't pay a penny. Never. Feel free to do what you want to do, Mom. I have nothing to do with it. 
Wait, Samantha. That's not fair. That's not good enough. Show me that you're a good daughter by paying for your sister. I've been thinking about it for a while. You always look down on me. You have no love for me. What? Don't be so condescending. You know I'm busy, but you call me and ask me for money without caring. When I tell you I don't want to pay, you curse me. You love my sister more than me. I'm not trying to patronize you. I'm just saying that I want you to learn from Anne and be kind to your parents. Is giving money to my sister considered as being kind to my parents? Anne isn't my mother. You are my mother. I was worried that something bad had happened to you, and now you're talking like that? You've never showed me that you care for me, not even once, Mom. Not even once? No, that's not true. We celebrated as a family when Anne graduated from college and when you got a job. I know that's because Dad said he wanted to. You were against that at that time. I don't know why you would say I was reluctant. I was thinking to celebrate with you too. Hmm, well, it doesn't matter now. Anyway, it doesn't seem like it's an urgent matter, so it can wait. What? Samantha, you're going to pay me soon, aren't you? I'll talk about it later, including whether or not I'll pay you. You're just trying to get me to go along with this. It can't be helped. I understand. By the way, I'll be working overtime work today, so I'll come home late. So, have you thought about the money? Calm down, Mom. Let me check something more important. Oh, come on. Don't give me any more trouble, okay? What is it? You love Anne unconditionally, right? She's my daughter, so it's just obvious. What's the point of talking about it now? You should think about that yourself. Why don't we just get straight to the point? I don't have enough patience to play around with you. Well then, let me ask you something. Why did you decide to leave Dad? Tell me the real reason. Because he was seeing someone else. You made him do that, didn't you? I was daddy's little girl. Dad was worried about me and always defended me. So that's why you were angry about that, right? You only care about Anne. That's not true. Your father cheated on me. It wasn't my fault. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about money now, right? I told you. I can't pay you $36,000. If you're talking about paying as much as I can, I might consider it. I see. So that's your attitude towards your own sister. I'm just being realistic. That's enough. Talking to you with your cheap salary makes me feel poor and depressed. Hey, that's quite rude. What's wrong with receiving a low income? I was going to keep it a secret from Anne's husband and surprise him, but I had no choice. I'm going to get the money from Dave himself. Dave? Are you talking about Anne's rich husband? Hey, what are you trying to do involving a lot of people? Even you are still working now, right? Mom, where are you? What's going on? Are you out somewhere? Why don't you just go wherever you want? I'm at Anne's place right now. You should have said those things earlier. I'm not a child. Do I have to report every single time? I'll be careful next time. If you don't stay home, I'll worry about you. Do you want to eat when I get home? Do you want me to cook for you? Don't worry. I don't think I'll ever go back to that house again. What? You mean you're going to live with Anne and her husband? That's right. Are you surprised? Okay then. 
I have to change the owner's name of the house, so help me with the documents. Oh, you're not mad at me today, are you? Well, I wanted to live alone. It's actually more convenient. I'm not changing the owner's name of our house. Are you going to keep paying for the utilities and mortgage? I'm putting the house on the market. No kidding. I'm still living here. Oh, I forgot. Well, that's what I'm talking about. So, find a place to live quickly before you get kicked out. Can you let me live with you at Anne's house too? You want to live alone, right? Living with your sister while being jealous of her is not a good idea. You're right. You just put the house on the market without even having a discussion with me. I'm really glad I didn't give Anne the money. Yeah, you can say what you want to say. You're always useless. I got Dave to pay for it. Okay, that's good to know. Right? If you have money, you can easily take care of your parents like what Anne did to me. Is that so? Why did you and Anne suddenly start living together? Of course, it's because Anne said that she wanted to live with me. She wants to live with you, but she doesn't want to live with me? That's not true. You have to do something on your own. Don't bother Anne anymore. Then you didn't have to put the house on the market. I'll make money if I sell the house. Didn't you ever think that I would continue to live there? You with your cheap salary? I don't think you can afford to pay since you were splitting the bills for gas, water, and electricity with me. If you think I'm that poor, why are you trying to kick me out of this house? Please, just let me talk to Anne. She's there, isn't she? There's something I want to talk to her about. Stop fighting with your sister! It's disgraceful! Anne has already gone to bed. Well then, can you tell her to call me back later? If you have a message for her, go ahead. Are you going to complain to her in person? That won't be necessary. Then what? What do you want to talk about? You don't know? Then we need to talk about it. What? What are you talking about? Well, good night. Hey, wait a minute. I have good news, Samantha. You know what? You can come over. Huh? What are you talking about? I mean, you can come and live with me at Anne's house. What's going on all of a sudden? You want to live together, right? Fine. No, that's not what I meant. You said you wanted to live there the other day, right? I was about to be kicked out of my house, but I also said that I want to live alone, didn't I? That's why I'm saying that I'm going to give you the house. I don't believe you. You should, Samantha. I changed my mind. It's what you wanted, right? Why don't you just take it? Well, could you please change the name of the owner then? What? Your family? You can't be a stranger to me. I've worked so hard for you. We're all set here. The process will be quick. I got it. I'll come over there and talk to you, and then we'll decide if I'll take the house or not. What? You're not taking it? Why should I? You kicked me out of the house, so I'm already living somewhere else. Oh, you're right. I'll be waiting for you. Also, it's going to cost a lot of money to change the owner's name of the house. So please transfer the money to this account. So, what are you going to do? Oh, I've been thinking about it, but I don't want the house. What? Why not? 
The house isn't worth much, and it's far from my office. It's an inconvenient place. I don't want it. Did you just say that it's not worth it? That can't be true. I don't want it, so where are you going to live if you give up this house? I already have another house lined up. Another house? You must be very rich. Well, Dave has money. By the way, how much did that new house cost? Why do you ask that? How much was it? What's the use of asking that? I'm just curious about that. By the way, what about the present you gave Anne? What did you give her? That's... I gave her a trip abroad. Where to? I didn't ask Anne further about that. You didn't go with her? Of course not. If I had, it would have ruined her time together with Dave as a married couple. Do you really think they went on that trip? What do you mean? You don't know anything about Dave. He doesn't speak French and he doesn't work for a French company and receives six figures monthly salary. It's all a lie. Nowadays, if you have special skills or a sense of style, you can make that much, right? You can work even if you don't speak any foreign languages. Special ability and sense. You don't know about Dave's hidden ability, do you? It doesn't seem to be a genuine sense anyway. Stop saying things that don't make sense. Are you telling me that Dave is lying? Actually, he's paying me a lot of money. That's the proof that he earns money. Are you telling me that I'm just jealous of Dave, Mom? Oh, come on. Who would be jealous of someone who doesn't make a real living? By the way, I haven't heard from Anne yet. She doesn't want to talk to you. Tell her to contact me now, please. Samantha, I need a little help here. How many times do I have to tell you not to call me at work, Mom? Something really serious happened this time. Dave was arrested. I know that. What? You knew about this? Yes, of course. Why didn't you tell me? You didn't even listen to me, did you? Do you have any idea how many times I have tried to tell you? How many times did I ask you to let me talk to Anne? I know, but... I'm sorry, but I'm busy with work. Hold on a sec. I need your help, Samantha. Why didn't you pick up the call? I'm at work and I was too busy to pick up the call. Your work is nothing compared to what's happening right now. Then this conversation is over. Bye. Wait! What is it already? I don't want to talk to someone I can't have a conversation with. It's a conversation that concerns you too. You're an accomplice too. What are you talking about? You bought that house, didn't you? I didn't buy the house. No, you did. You bought it. No way. I filed it in your name. You can't do that. Yes, you can. You know what? I imitated your sign. You shouldn't underestimate me since I'm quite smart. Are you serious? What do you mean by that? I've changed my sign, of course. Those you saw in the past documents were my old ones. Oh, no. You're a criminal since you imitated my sign and submitted documents without my permission. Do something about it! I can't help you. It's your own fault. I'm sorry, but you're on your own. I think I should just let Anne take care of you. What about Anne? She'll be in trouble, right? Don't you know? Anne was just playing the good girl and hasn't told you the truth. Poor you. Tell me quickly! 
Anne has been in debt for a long time. What's that? You didn't know that. Your pretty Anne is not rich or anything. She was repeatedly in debt and squandered all her money on herself. But that's okay, right? She's your pretty and kind girl, isn't she? No! That can't be true! Besides, Dave is rich! There's no way she can get into debt! Well, I don't know about that. Rich, huh? What's important is that Anne helped Dave to cover it up. Anne was involved in the crime? Don't you know this too? I knew nothing about that! Are you okay? You really don't know anything, do you? How do you know everything in the first place? You yourself were on the scam with Dave, weren't you? Tell the truth. You were just trying to put Anne at fault. Oh, so it's a scam? I never said anything about the scam, did I? Only that it's a cover-up. What? Was Dave arrested for fraud? You know more about it than I do! All I know is that there are reports of a few people caught in an investment scam. I didn't know that Dave was involved. That's news to me. Could it be? You were calling me an accomplice earlier. Don't say that so often! Well, that can't be true! Well, the truth will come out soon. Who do you think you are? Talking to me like you know what you're talking about. All you have to do is one thing. Save me! Thank you for the information that only those who have been involved with the crime know. I'll put all of it on the internet. Huh? What are you talking about? The internet? Why? What for? I've shown you before, haven't I? My articles? The picture of the house I was almost forced to buy? It looked so beautiful, didn't it? I didn't know that you wrote that article! I wrote that one. Didn't I tell you that being an online news writer was my side job? The house that Dave built with the money he got from the scam, and you who tried to push such a thing on him? A criminal family, aren't you? Well, did you protect the wrong person? Or are you in the same hole? There are more, aren't there? Stop it! Don't say anything more! All right, I'm sorry, it's my fault! I apologize! Don't write any more articles! Maybe I should consider about that, but I can't guarantee that I won't write it. Don't be so mean! Well, even if I don't write it, someone else will surely write it, because it's an interesting story. Oh no! I'm a victim too! At first, I was deceived by Dave too. He took my membership fee and stuff, and I knew it was him because I recognized the account number to which the money was transferred. Is that what you meant by the $36,000 at that time? That's right! They exploited me because I didn't have any money. I'm a victim too. Don't you feel sorry for me? Not at all. That is no reason to be a part of a scam. Can't you do something about it? What do you think? Why don't you talk to your own people? I have nothing to do with it, so what will be will be, right? Well, let's see if it ends up as a rumor. After that, various truths came to light. Anne was found out to have been using Dave's money and to have been covering up for Dave. Mom was also found out to have condoned Dave's fraud and to have tried to frame me, so both of them were arrested.